German organ sound, right? The German organ sound. And they play, you know, the typical Klaus Wunderli stuff. Uh, okay, I don't like it, but I have to show it. Okay, so this is a little bit um, a typical Euro organ sound. Of course, you can change it with the draw bars. If you think this is very complicated, we also have eight presets. And of course, one very famous organ player was Klaus Wunderli. He played always very fast. I don't know why. Very fast. Like a... And everybody... Whoa, eh? very, uh, very good. Okay. People like it. Right? Because it's fast. If you play normal, not good. If you play fast, oh, okay. But I asked, one day I met Klaus Wunderlich. One day I see him live. And I say, I was very young then. And I said, Mr. Wunderlich, why you play so fast? Huh? I ask. And he explained to me, because uh, he had a very bad marriage, a very bad wife. Yes. And he, has, he also has to be always on time at home. If he was too late, tick, 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 tick. So he always... <laughs> it was the only reason. Yeah? But that be because of that, he was very famous. Because he, if he plays... Okay, okay, okay. So that's why. So now this is a story. It's a true story. So you know it now. Now, then we have, of course, the home organ. The home organ is very cheap. So you don't have the draw bars. You just have some, some um, taps, as we call them. <laughs> Very, very typical home organ sound. And people at home organ play like this. And they're all smiling. They love their organ, really, they love it. Yeah, it's, true. it's true, it's true. I never seen somebody play organ like this. Now always, it's true, no? It's true. Okay, so this is, okay, okay, thank you. It's true, it's the truth. Uh, we are learning a lot today. Okay, so this is about the organ. Of course, we have the Hammond organ sound. And to be honest, well, to be honest, I'm going to tell you now, the organ sound of the Hammond is exactly the same as in the Tyros 4. But the interface has changed a little bit. But more important, I told you about virtual circuit modeling, about the better DSP. So the Leslie also, the Leslie tone cabinet, sounds much better. And the Leslie tone cabinet is very important for the organ sound, right? So it's much warmer, it's more realistic. And the nice thing, I think, is that if you look at the presets, they work the same as on the Hammond organ. You have these lower octave with the black keys where you can change the presets. And of course, if you really want some really, really Hammond stuff, you can still take the presets, of course, with the real drummer now.
Okay, some organ. So you can really hit the organ sound. This is theater organ. Who knows the theater organ? The theater organ is in the UK, very famous. It sounds like this. Uh, so. so it's a pipe organ, but not in the church, in theaters. And they have groups of theater organs. It looks a little bit like this. And, and, it, and you even have some theater organ styles here. So for... for <laughs> Okay, okay, that's enough. That's all about organs. And of course, there's one more. And the one more is very, very important. And it's just amazing. And this is the new big church organ. And it looks great. I mean, look at the thing. And we have eight presets, so you can start with. <laughs> Christmas song, eh? It's true, it's Christmas. And if you go to Amsterdam, you also find... Okay, this is a joke, but okay. So the church organ, the sound, also the reverb. six so I can even go bigger but then the church is too small so we are going to make the church more big and now I can introduce also some um, some virtual circuit modeling so here you have the interface of the lexicon reverb the very famous lexicon the reverb time is now three seconds so we are going to seven why not normally seven seconds of reverb time not so good sound because but the quality is very good so also the first delay is a little bit bigger so now the church is even bigger um, yes, and then we can go here. Great reverb. So now you can do... organs. Let's go back to the microphone because you can see here on the display we still have the vocal harmony 2 which is the same as in Tyros 4 but also here the effects are better. The DSP is just better. So let's go to the DSP. Um, I already did a little bit of singing but I'm now going to introduce the vocal harmony with it. So um, I'm not such a good singer but if you just use a lot of reverb then you already sound much better, you know. And you just take a style though. You just start talking, you know. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Elvis Presley, and I'm going to sing a song for you. Maybe I didn't treat you Just as good as I should have And maybe I didn't love you Just as much as I should have Little things I should have said and done Sorry darling, I was blind Fire. But you were always on my mind You were always on my mind Okay, 
you want to hear you want to hear the difference with without the system so without the it this is just joke but let's have some fun maybe i didn't treat you it's nothing no? just as good as i should have Shit, okay okay this is the worst part of my demo i'm very very sorry Okay, so anyhow, this is a little bit about um, harmony, but there is, of course, more DSP, and uh, let's go there. Um, I just take this vintage M guitar. There is no effect at all. So let's go to the page of the effects again, which is in the mixing console, and I put all the effects on DSP number six. So there is no effect here. Same guitar now, but now I'm sending it through the US combo, which is the modeling of a Fender Twin reverb. <laughs> the nice thing is, if you play guitar, or if your friend plays guitar, you can connect the guitar to the microphone input, and also use all these effects, also use all these amp simulations. <laughs> like the real thing. If you want some more distortion, just take the Mesa Boogie. We cannot put Mesa Boogie here, but it's called High Gain. <laughs> we have here the Roland Jazz Chorus. We call it the Jazz Combo, right? So you have this sound again without, this is the normal guitar again. Switch on the DSP. Yeah, who remember this? For example, a little bit more distortion in this sound. Okay, just go there. more effects here because we have 11 DSPs in the instrument and two extra for the microphone. British lead, of course, that's a Marshall. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> or other effects like these. Wah.
Okay, of course, very many people play on parties, wedding parties. So you just start easy. <laughs> And then maybe you play some, some oh, oh, this is still, oh, my tour was around Christmas, right? But Christmas is over. But then you maybe play a Christmas song. Yeah, yeah. And then the party gets on and on. And maybe you play some harmonica. Then at some point, of course, the people say we want a little bit more. At some point, and then you can use a lot of audio stuff. Stuff. Now we have a lot of audio stuff, and one new thing here is, for example, that you can now link audio. So any wave file, now you can link, so you can connect to the multi pads, right? So it was so nice because, of course, we have a new flamenco guitar as well. <laughs> See, to be very honest, this is uh, uh, the sample is very good, yeah, but the the ole um, I don't know is it the ole? Ole! It's like ole. And to be very honest, this was recorded very early in the morning. Yes, so he's with, and the guitar player. Okay, but okay, we have it, right? In the afternoon, he was much better. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, and there's a style, and the style goes a little bit like this. So that, I think it was this one, sorry for that, so... Famous song. and it's all great. Um, I know that you will have a presentation for typical, uh, your local stuff and your local um, taste, but um, I think also you like the accordion and it's so nice that we also have styles where you can go a little bit different way. Of course with the accordion I think you always need, always need the expression pedal.
also with the new styles, you can go with normal tunes and arrange them in a different way. It's just all great. So we have many, many new things. We have all these, let's say, these new DSPs, the new super articulation sounds, the real drums, so the audio style. We've got the ensemble voices, right? Um, and we have the new guitars and all these stuff. So it's really a lot of new stuff. Also the audio stuff with audio link, with the crossfader. So Tyros 5 really has a lot of new I'm going to, uh, to play one more song for you and then end this one-way presentation, right? And after that, there's a small interval, then they will present some local uh, instruments to you, which is very important, I know that. And uh, after that, you can ask some questions or whatever, so let's have some fun. Um, the last song I'm going to play, normally we have a singer here. Is somebody singer here who can do uh, Adele? Nobody? Maybe she's here. She was her on my last demo. She was. No, no. Okay. Okay. Well, then I will just play it. Um, so the song, I think you know it. It's uh, a MIDI file to show that also the MIDI is, of course, still very, very attractive to use. So uh, let's do that. Yes. And the name of the school song is Skyfall. Well. Okay. That's it. <laughs> 